it's just been absolutely hammering it down. Look at those clouds there. Not looking too pretty, are they? Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller. Looks like the rain covers have just about come off. Let's go and see if we can find any bargains to resell on eBay. Still early doors, everyone's setting up. There you go, there's his shoe. Let's go. One. How much did you sell them for, the shoes? Five, uh, it cost me like six. Yeah, five, five sounds good, I can yeah. do five for those. Morning. Morning. How you doing? All right. I bought some dolls last yeah, week, I didn't I? I got a lot more after. You got, a, you got a load more? Yeah, you got all sorts here, look. And I was have... Got to go through them. Got to go for them. I'll have a look for them now, but I, I was looking at the bus. Three quick. Three quick for the bus? <laughs> We could put the bus, sounds good. We'll get that one. It's heavy mind, isn't it? Oh, we'll get that. We got one, two, three, four, five of them. Five of them. Eight quid, isn't it? Eight quid. Ideal. Any doll like that, I always pick up. It's only a pound each, isn't it? But if they've got good articulation, relatively detailed, lots of accessories, good paintwork on the face, you never know. Some of them can be absolute gems. Most of them aren't. But even if they aren't, they bundle up and you'll always make more than a pound on them. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, How's it going? How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Got some little transformers here. Yeah. And that one is as well. There's some simpler ones. This one, that one's yeah. an easier one. That one's quite complicated. Looks fun though, doesn't it? How much you how much you selling them for, the so, transformers? I them, the big one about five pounds because it's quite old and it's kind of rare if you find it. Okay. And um, that one about two pounds. Okay. A pound, a pound as well. Okay. So is that five? Two. Six, two, seven. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Great. Yeah, I, I will go for those. If I can get the transformers, that'd yeah, be fun. Fine. Okay, um, I've got you look like a custom job to me. That doesn't look like. Looks like they've been painted on themselves and drawn on themselves. There's not many snoopers left now, is there? No, there's not, no. Hi guys, how's it going? Just have a look at these football yeah. stickers. There's a fair few there, isn't there? <laughs> How much are you selling them for? 50p for more if you want. 50p? Sounds <laughs> good. Put it on yeah. So what I was pointing to there was Lofty off of Bob the Builder and I've sold that one three times pretty recently. I sell them for about eight pounds plus postage. I have got one currently listed on eBay and someone made me a real cheeky offer, which I declined. I then get a message, a real kind of little bitter message saying, thanks for rejecting my offer. I've just found one on Vinted for three quid. Don't you just love little messages like that? And fair play. I'm sure they didn't buy it off George Rosso. Hi, yeah. Oh, yeah, how's it going? Hi. You okay? okay? Yeah. Good. How much for you? Uh, the gloves? Just one pound fifty. Pound fifty? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Tucked on the top of the box. Disney store, Jack Skellington. Yep. He's missing an arm. It's quite cool though. Ah, look at that. A bit basic to go for the collection. That one's not complete. And down here, got a lifesaver. There's two there. I have to, I'll tell you, I'll give you another pound. Some 
more dolls here. Three pounds for them. Yeah, three pounds yeah. for those? Yeah. 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 How much are you selling that one and those two for? Five for all of it? For all of it. Yeah. And have insurance on it. How much are your books there, mate? The, uh, what are these? Um, <coughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's Game of Thrones, isn't it? Yeah, the missus has read every one of them. What do Give me a four on for them. Five for them? Yeah. Sounds good. I'll yeah, do that. Yeah. A few more sellers have turned up. Time for lap two. Random things. I don't know where to put anything. <laughs> it's quite cool. Bruh, I think those two will go together as a nice set, wouldn't they? Okay. The same spider. So yeah, I'd be interested to buy both. Six of those. pounds for those two. That's, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Those, yeah, those five. That one and that one looks good. Yeah. Um, so six, seven fifty oh. and six. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go for it. Thank you. How about this for a throwback? I'm sure what this is the one we had back in school. Jeepers! How much are you selling uh, the books for? Pound. I think I think I can see the full. Is that the full Game of Thrones set there? Isn't it? Almost. Two, three. Oh, you saw the first one. I know, I might have. I don't know, it could be bad. I'm looking for it. Because you've got one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I bought the seven Game of Thrones books, you'd do that for a fiver? Yeah. It's old etch a sketch here. Yeah. So I ended up buying that whole bag of Trackmaster trains. This one was in there, Bertie. I need a Thomas because I've got a couple of carriages that could do with a bundle with him. That LBSC train, that's a pretty half decent one. And I saw there was another James in the mix somewhere as well. It was only five quid. So yeah, there's profit to be made there. And actually, while I was at the store, I found this as well. Beach Body, Sean T, T25. I've actually done this myself, it is decent. I paid a pound for it, so that was an another good find. Thursday on eBay, I've had three nice meaty sales. Nice bit of variety, but more importantly, a decent amount of value. First sale, right, we've just come off the back of mid 30 degree centigrade temperatures. People are feeling chilly already. Someone has bought this 100% cotton crew clothing jacket, a size extra large, and that is heavy. That has got proper weight to it. I paid five or six pounds in the charity shop for this and sold it today for 17 pounds plus postage. Took an offer, I had it up for 20 pounds, but it's only three quid less and I'm accepting that considering the time of year that we're in. Next sale, I thought it would do better. I mean, the problem is I paid too much for it. What we've got here is a Hornby model 
Holy Trinity Church. It's exactly what it says on the box there. If you've got your model railway track, this is a church that will go and supplement the scenery. It's all sealed inside. It's, there's a lot of things that could go missing and a lot of things that could break, but because it's not open, it's complete. So I thought I could get a lot more for it. Paid £15, sold for £30 plus postage. Not the end of the world, but it has hang around for a fair bit. It's taken up a bit of, a bit of space, but I haven't had anything else that I needed to fill the space. So yeah, happy it's gone, happy with the money. But this third sale, right, this is a bolo that you all need to be looking out for. What we've got here is a Blaze and the Monster Machine plastic truck. Doesn't look like much, does it? It's got a real simple transformation. Fold down the legs, fold out the arms, fold out the hands. That is in there. It's a Blaze Transformer. That has gone for £35 plus postage and it's going on the global shipping program over to New Zealand. And that's at the lower end of this. This should go for about 40 to 45 quid. But I paid £20 for a big bundle of just die cast trucks. I've been selling them off individually or in small bundles. This was where the main meat of the bundle was. So I made a good amount of profit on that bundle. Just on this alone, not considering everything else that I've sold so far. So all in all, Thursday's been a good day. Three nice strong sales. Ah, uh, no, hang on a sec. There has been one more sale that has come in. It's a figure. It's a McFarlane figure. Not the Thundercats. Here it is. This is Vulcan Raven off of Metal Gear Solid. It is incomplete. God, he's a mean looking dude. He should come with a big machine gun. Snapped off or come off. Don't know. Either way, that cost £2. Sold for £8 plus postage and within a week. The weekend sales are in. Let me take you through them. Two pairs of shoes to show you first. Check these out. We've got a pair of high top leather all white converse good size uk size nine these were absolutely filthy right so i got my turf brush out cleaned them all up got a bit of sif all on that rubber and they've come up really really well but when i was doing that some of the dirt was hiding a few defects now this rubber line along here is actually coming away from the leather only a little bit but enough to hamper the price they've only gone for 15 quid all in and if these were in great condition without that damage you'd be looking at a lot more than that the next pair of shoes to show you, I only picked these up this morning. It's those Shaq basketball shoes. UK size nine, hardly been used. They just don't look like the best quality. The Shaq graphics there don't look particularly great. That finish round there, not convincing really. I mean, they're, they're a decent enough pair of shoes. But yeah, you're never going to get the top, top price. And that's what sold listings are saying. I paid a fiver. Those are sold for £15 plus postage. So yeah, just under a tenner profit. Check this out. Rubik's Magic Strategy Game. I've got to hold the bottom because the box is absolutely battered. Paid a pound for this. And it is by Mashbox. And if I see a Mashbox with Rubik's on, I usually pick it up. That's gone for £10 plus postage. Now we were talking about this one earlier in the video. I've sold Lofty from Bob the Builder. I sold this for £10 all in. And this is the one where somebody offered me, what was it, four quid? Like all in, four quid. I, I just said no. And they said, great, found it on Vinted for three quid. Wow, fair play. This one though, is sold for me, 10 quid all in. Would have paid 50 pence for it, something like that. Another one that I only picked up this morning. God of War, PlayStation 2. This one has got the bonus disc with it. Got to open it up there because the, this case is actually broken so it doesn't stay in. But it's got the bonus disc. That has gone for £11.75 all in. And I paid, well, I, I got that in a bundle for five quid. So that little bundle is in profit. Spice Girls Keyring, not sold one of these for ages. Brand new, old stock, unpunched. That's the graphic on there. Sold for six quid all in. Two items have gone to the same seller. They've obviously just been browsing through my shop and these two things took their eye. I've got this part complete Harry Potter purple double decker, missing the top deck, only has got the driver minifigure. He's led down at the back there. He's had a hard shift. Yeah, that's gone for about five pounds plus postage. And I bundled that in with loads of Doctor Who figures. Now I thought these would have been worth a lot more than they are. I've got David Tennant. There he is there. But they're just not worth anything. Is that Rose? Yeah, Bill, Billy Piper there. Nine figures in there. On top of that purple bus, 
that has sold for 15 quid all in. And the final sale to show you this weekend, and it's probably the best sale, brand new and sealed Hot Wheels track pack, 31 long straights, 12 short straights, few connectors, free car in there. That's gone for 25 quid all in. And actually, when I'm out in the charity shops and the boot sales, I will be looking for sealed Hot Wheels stuff. Because if this sells for that amount, imagine what like the bigger sets would sell for, brand new and sealed. I'm gonna do some research. All right, guys, is it, that's all the sales. So really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll be back out in the charity shops on Wednesday, and I'll catch up with you then.